Welcome to It Came From Earth Top 5. I'm your host, Matt Evans, and today we're going to do something a little different from the norm. Instead of taking a look at one cool critter, we're going to shine the spotlight on five. Reptiles are one of the longest living families of animals on Earth, getting their start 310 to 320 million years ago during the Carboniferous period. With such a long-lasting lineage, it's no surprise that they've managed to spread to every corner of the globe. These creatures are so cool, they're literally cold-blooded. And to do this family of animals justice, I've decided to break my top five down by biome. And since my favorite reptiles come from arid environments, today we're going to take a look at the top five desert-dwelling reptiles. Number five, Euromastix gerai. It should come as no surprise that Euromastix make the list. They are one of my favorite animals and the subject of our very first It Came From Earth video. There are several species I could have picked, but I've decided to focus on my personal favorite, the Saharan Euromastic. These spiny tail agamids are defensive powerhouses and true desert survivors. As herbivores, they get enough nutrients to survive just from the sparse desert plants that dot their arid habitat. Bright yellow or nearly neon red, these desert survivors take the number five spot if for no other reason than I like them. Number four, Egyptian sandfish. Sandfish, also called the common skink, are anything but common. These smooth scale lizards have a way of moving through their habitat that is unlike any other. They literally swim through the sand. During the intense heat of the desert sun, these tiny little critters dive beneath the dunes to escape. They're even able to breathe down there. By utilizing tiny pockets of air between the grains of sand and due to a very special respiratory tract that allows them to exhale tiny particles of dust that they inhale. Without those adaptations, this feat would be impossible. And that's why the Egyptian sandfish is number four. Number three, the greater shorthorned lizard. The greater shorthorned lizard is commonly known as the horny toad, but it's not a toad and its spiky appearance is probably the least interesting thing about it. From its diet of mostly venomous harvester ants to the very unique way it gets rid of potential predators, the horned lizard actually has the ability to shoot blood from its eyes. Now this might be the grossest superpower ever, but at least it's usually reserved for canine predators like foxes and coyotes. So to quote the immortal Randy Jackson, that's a no from me, dog. Number two, the Sidewinder. Sidewinders are members of the genus Croatilus, also known as the rattlesnakes. But it's not their noisy rear ends or their venomous bite that we're going to talk about today. It's the unusual way they get around. Sidewinders get their name from the unusual way they move around their habitat. This sign winding allows them to easily climb sand dunes that would otherwise be impossible. It's even thought they can instantly shift their weight and flatten out parts of their body to help adjust for the changing speeds of the shifting sands beneath them. And for that reason, Sidewinders are number two on our list. Before we get to number one, let me take a moment to talk about this awesome backdrop provided by Potheads by Bailey. These creepy, fun, and colorful planters are unique, handmade, one of a kind, and most importantly, they make a great gift this holiday season. Stay tuned after the video, there will be a link in the description where you can get more information on these creepy, fun, and cool heads and how you can bring one home for yourself. Now let's get right back to it. Number one, the Gila Monster. Calling this guy a monster is a bit of a misnomer as they're actually a pretty attractive little critter with black and orange beaded appearance and a mouth that, dare I say, looks like it's smiling. Behind that smile, though, hides something far more sinister. You see, the Gila monster is the only venomous lizard native to the United States. Now, when we think of venomous reptiles, we typically think of snakes, but there are actually over a hundred known species of venomous lizards around the globe, the Gila monster being among the most attractive, which is why it takes the number one spot today. 
Well guys, that was my top five favorite desert dwelling reptiles. As always, these lists can be a bit subjective, so if there's a critter you think I should have included or maybe you think my rankings were wrong, feel free to let me know in the comments. Also, as always, if you'd like me to highlight a certain animal on one of our videos, drop me a line and let me know. Thanks for joining us today on It Came From Earth Top 5s. I'm Matt Evans, and I'll see you next time.